All right, guys, this is going to be a quick review of the Hybrid Armory. This is their Capsule 2.0 Hybrid Holster. Uh, this sells for, I'm looking at their website right now, um, about $34. Um, it is a Kydex holster with a nylon belt clip um, and it has the uh, kind of greedy textured leather on the back of it. The inside leather is pretty smooth. Um, this particular model is for the G23. Fits in really nice. Um, one thing I did have a problem <clears throat> when I was testing some other holsters as I wasn't very happy about the one and a half inch clips which is no problem. They sent me a one and three quarter inch clip so I can just swap those out you know no problem because um, these usually have the if you look right here you can take the um, set screws out and you can set it to either a zero degree cant or a 15 degree cant and I prefer to carry it the 15 degree cant just because it takes the firearm and rides a little better on your body but I do know that in a 15 degree cant on some of my tactical belts that they're really hard to get on and off and sometimes they won't fully engage under the bottom so I really uh, advise getting the uh, uh, one and three quarter inch clip 1.75 it's just to me it works better if you're going to do if you're doing the zero degree cant there's no problem but when you do the 15 degree cant you need just a little bit bigger on some of the smaller leather belts no problem but on the tactical belts I find that this one's a little bit better now that's the only cons I found about it they do have a very good um, like a stainless um, screws or hardware and for $34, $35 you can't really beat this um, some of the guys that uh, are not real happy with the Kydex holsters because they don't like the feel of the Kydex on them this is probably going to be a very good option for you um, I prefer just me personally I'm more of the full Kydex holsters just to me that they feel better to me um, and they carry a little bit better but that's just my same company I wished I would have probably tested this one first before I tested the full Kydex just because I love the full Kydex one just a little bit more um, really good fit and finish on this one now they did send me one to try out for the XD it's a little bit loose um, I don't know I know that the XD has been revamped and maybe they did this one on a on a, maybe a mod 2 or something but it's got a little bit of slop in here which I mean it's really nice though because on these the belt going across here once you put your belt on it does the retention on it so it kind of fans out a little bit and it makes it nice and secure but just some of the people will worry about that right off the bat because they're a little bit loose they want that positive you know snap in to where it's not coming out kind of thing a lot of the inside the waistband holsters are these uh, hybrid deal that has a kydex shell and leather on the back they're going to be a little bit looser because if they were so tight and you put this on your belt you would never be able to because once you ratchet your belt down you know hold your pants up this would kind of fan around and it would be so tight you'd never be able to get your holster out so they are a little bit loose a little bit more on the XD versus the Glock but you see the Glock still I mean you could pop it out really easy they do have adjustable um, o-rings to where you can adjust it if you want a little bit looser a little bit tighter fit um, but all in all it is a great holster um, I'm not gonna say it's my perf the my favorite holster just because I like the 
full kydex one's the best that's just my cup of tea but like i said for people that uh don't really like the full kydex and they want a leather holster this is a pretty good option for you and for the price i mean like i said 34 35 dollars you know some of these hybrid holsters from other companies you know get in the 70 80 up to 100 dollars and for 35 dollars you got a pretty nice holster um that's but pretty much all i got to say about it it's wonderful i mean i like the holster uh have no complaints except for the clip and they remedied that pretty easy by sending me a larger clip which i'm actually going to put on the 27 holster because i use it more than the 23 or the xd and i've already tested them i will uh cut the film and show you a couple of the draw videos on some footage of me drawing the firearm kind of shows you how easy it is to reholster it's not to me it's not as easy to reholster because these full kydex they hold their shape so it don't matter where you put them when you pop it back in it's pretty much you know easy to reholster um these the only thing I had, that's, well, I guess it's another small complaint, is these, if you see how these kind of collapse a little bit, I mean, it still holds the top of your holster open where you can, the firearm can easily enter and go in, but that kind of collapses a little bit with your belt retention, so it does make it a little bit harder to pop it in, <clears throat> but... You know, this is also a brand new holster. You know, the leather's going to uh, break in a little bit. So I'm hoping that's going to help out a lot. Really not a big issue with the XD where it's a little bit sloppier because you have a little bit more room in it. But all in all, like I said, great holster. Um, well worth the $34, $35 for it. Um, Actually, I think they went down in price because at the time they shipped me these to begin with, they were about they were about forty dollars, so they dropped down in price a little bit. Just goes to show you that there is some very affordable holsters out there that you don't have to break the bank on, um, and you can still get a good quality holster with the um, evolution of Kydex. Um, so make sure you check. I'll put their links in the description below. Make sure you go check out their. Um, Facebook. I think they sell exclusively through Facebook. You may be able to go to their website. I'll put their website link as well. And uh, it may just direct you to the Facebook page. That's usually where they uh, do their um, do all their ordering through. But uh, like I said, I'll cut the video and then we'll um, check out a couple of the drawing techniques of how I use this holster. things are really easy to change you just pop out these two screws like so and if you look they have a hole and see if you have this perfectly at the zero degree cant you've got a little shelf in here if you have it at the zero degree cant that shelf is further up but once you start pulling this up here that shelf goes further down that's why I prefer the 1.75 inch and that's why I'm changing these out because just that little bit makes a difference in clearance on your belt like I said, I'll show you that. If you look, and we put this in the zero degree cant, your shelf is straight on here. Goes straight through. So your belt, you know, your belt runs right across here. But when you turn it up to the 15 degree, degree cant, even when your belt turned, it kind of torques a little bit. And it puts your belt, just the natural way it lays on your body, more up on that shelf which causes sometimes your belt to 
uh, not be fully engaged all the way across. I mean, I have one corner off, and then when you go to draw the firearm, your holster will come out. <clears throat> not a big deal. Um, it's more depends on the belt that you use. Um, I like to use a tactical. It's more of a quick release belt. I'll show you right quick. You just throw these little gussets in the holes that you choose. Put your clip over top of it. And just tighten your screws down. Pretty easy peasy. Just a little tip that I found in trying a whole bunch of um, in the waistband holsters, especially these Kydex with these adjustable cant. And you just torque it down really well. Now we shouldn't have any issues with the clearance. You can see that little shelf in there, what I was talking about when you roll the angle on your body. That kicks this up on one corner. And that's the last thing you want to do is go to pull your holster out. Go to pull your gun out of your holster and you pull the whole holster with it. So I think that's going to work out a whole lot better for me. And you don't have to worry about these things scratching. That's the whole reason why they have that shelf a little recess to keep your hardware tucked in away from your firearm so it doesn't scratch your firearm and you have clearance but I think that's gonna work out really good like I said we'll go check out the uh, um, drawing techniques now all right this is the hybrid armory uh, capsule 2.0 hybrid holster uh, this one is actually in uh, for the G23. Really comfortable holster. You know, has pretty good retention. Positive snap, putting it in. And for the price, you really can't beat these things for. I think this is the. They actually have them now on their website for like $34. So go check them out. Uh, let's see how it draws um, and how it carries. Holster is pretty easy to put on too. Take your whole gun, grab the back of your pants, and you just slide it in where you want it. And it's in. Comes off just as easy. Really handy. I don't know if you're going to be having to take your holster on and off. Just really nice, inexpensive. Uh, I'll